The project we're working on today is the fire station. This is an architecturally very interesting building. Big open spaces, tall walls, a very good candidate for spray foam insulation. A bunch of different walls coming together, angles, beams, other things like that that are somewhat challenging. Spray foam is going to be the exclusive insulation for this entire building. The spray foam insulation is the best material when it comes to sealing up all of the difficult angles and other intersections of the building materials getting a good air seal and preventing things like condensation and mold problems. It's going to do a very good job of sealing up all of the exterior wall surfaces. And what you're going to see here is we're going to be spraying it on exterior grade drywall or gypsum board, kind of that interesting green color. So we're going to be using this lift to access some of the challenging areas of this large open room. It's going to make the access much more friendly, otherwise we'd have to wreck scaffold, which would be very challenging considering that there's no concrete floor. And putting scaffold on sand is challenging and difficult. As you can see, we've got plastic masking over all of the windows and also against the decorative, completely finished roof. Now this is kind of an interesting design where the ceiling is pre-finished off-site and actually put together as a part of the roof. So there's really no way to not have it finished when it's being put on the building. So you have to be careful to not get any overspray on that surface. The spray foam that we're using in this building is really no different than the spray foam we use in any other building. It is a class one fire rated product. It is in a sense no more dangerous than an exposed two by four. It needs to be covered up by drywall in occupied spaces, which it will be. It can also be covered up by other types of building materials that are approved as a thermal barrier or ignition barrier. It is an interesting side note that the fire station is being insulated with spray foam insulation. When it comes to fire ratings and fire protection, there are basically three classes of products, class one, class two, and class three. Class three basically is going to be the most combustible type product and needs the most protection. Class one being the least combustible material that requiring the least amount of protection. 